Well, during this Women's History Month, we're highlighting an effort to grow the next generation of female leaders. Here in Connecticut, women make up just over one-third of our state's legislature, and that puts us in the middle of the pack compared to the rest of the country. But a program at Central Connecticut State University looks to get more women to consider a run for office. NBC Connecticut political reporter Mike Savino joins us live from CCSU's campus. So, Mike, how exactly does this program work here? Well, Amber and Kevin, studies find that women are more likely than men to feel that they just don't have the experience that they need to win in an election. So this one-day program seeks to help college students all over the country, including right here at Central, get exactly that. I feel like I was a different person when I came to college. Everyone comes to college to find themselves and grow. For Central Connecticut State University senior Valerin Fernandez, that's included learning she has what it takes to run for office. And it's all thanks to one program, Elector. They teach us how to network professionally. Um, they teach us how to do our elevated speech. And they also provided various campaign strategies. It's done in partnership with Running Start, a nonprofit that encourages women to run for office. Elector is focused on getting women in college to run for student government. State Representative Kate Farrar says that's where many women in government now get their start. We really approach it from the standpoint of making sure we can be supportive of one another in experiencing this. Farrar helped start Elector more than a decade ago, and she remains involved with the program at Central because she believes it's important to get women to run. According to U.S. News & World Reports, 37 percent of seats in the Connecticut General Assembly are held by women. That ranks 18 among all states. It's not that women don't win, it's that we don't run. Farrar credits former Secretary of the State Denise Merrill with getting her into politics, and Fernandez since she was motivated after attending a lecture. In fact, Fernandez asked to organize this year's event for Central. When it comes to the importance of having female leaders, I feel like the biggest thing is representation. New Britain Mayor Aaron Stewart also talked with Central students. She said it is incredibly important to empower young women with the skills and confidence needed to run for an elected position early on. And that is exactly what the elector program at CCSU does. Meanwhile, Fernandez says elector has her thinking about politics as part of her future. Maybe you might see me in the next couple of years. And Fernandez says she is not a one-off. Other graduates of this program have gone on to be president of student government or start advocacy organizations right here on campus. And she says it's all because of the networking and leadership skills that they learn. Live from New Britain, Mike Savino, NBC Connecticut News.